So I came to dance for the first time in October 2017. I was invited by a German friend and I heard he was going to this line dancing events and it sounded very, very strange, very American and very exotic. Before coming to Rawhides, I had never ever seen or heard about two steps. Two step is something completely, completely mind blowing for, for a European, I would say, because the biggest change or the biggest strange thing for me as a Norwegian was the two step and the counting. So the first thing I remarked when I came to Rawhides was that uh, the same sex dancing, dancing in couples, uh, for instance, the two steps or the waltz. I had, I don't think I have ever, ever seen that before in Norway ever. I know that there are a few same sex couples that join in, in dance clubs or in dance groups or in dance classes here in Norway, but I've never, I have never seen it and I have never experienced it. So for me, it was really the first time dancing with people of the same sex in, in, in these uh, different dances. And it was a very liberating in a sense feeling because it was something that were all of a sudden very natural. And I had seen it as very unnatural before because it was really something that didn't exist. Well, that really made a big impression on me and I really enjoyed it. So unfortunately, I'm no longer in DC, but if I was, uh, I would have uh, come back again and again. I, I came back to, to the dance floor uh, or the dancing all the time since the very start, as long as I had any possibility and it became almost holy for me. I put it in my calendar and I had it noted down so I knew that I could prioritize these Saturday, Saturday evenings dancing. I would definitely continue to do that. And the reason is that firstly, meeting all the people and learning how to move to the music is very, very stimulating and, and nice. And you get friends and you get, you get to move your body in different ways and learn new moves and new shakes and, and all that. Uh, it really stimulates the whole system and the special atmosphere and very welcoming atmosphere that is in this group really makes it a kind of a vitamin pill to be there. So the sense of community and the positivity with the music and dancing all together, it really makes this group a unique group. So I've been speaking positively about Rawhides among friends and colleagues, and quite a lot of them were very interested and intrigued by this. And they asked actually to, to come along and begged if they could please join me at one of the evenings or the sessions. And, and I said, yes, of course. And the reaction that I saw among all of them was that they were so thrilled with the enthusiasm and energy in the group and really felt that they were taken in as new members in a very, very good way. So they loved it. They really, really loved it and uh, spoke about it with stars in their eyes afterwards. And many of us are now spread all over the world and we still keep in touch and we still have some conversations every now and then. And quite often they bring up again, oh, we miss the line dancing. We miss Rawhide. It's such a, it was such a great experience when we were in DC. So it really lives with us and it's something that we cherish and have as long as we live, I think.